question. Can I make this out of cotton? Maybe? Today we're going to talk about why I can't actually answer that question and what you need to ask instead. Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today and today I am answering one of your sewing questions. And this one comes up frequently. People want to know, can they substitute a different fabric for the one I'm recommending for a project? And the answer to that is complicated. The reason I can't answer a question like, can I use cotton for this, is because cotton can be made into a lot of different types of fabric. So there are two properties of any kind of fabric that have a great influence over what the final fabric behaves like. The first property is fiber. Cotton is a fiber. Cotton can be made into a knit stretch fabric and cotton can be made into a woven fabric and those fabrics are not going to behave anything like each other. Let me give you a clearer visual example of that. This is 100% cotton yarn and I am knitting it. And this is a process that is done on machines to make stretch fabric. So the one cotton thread is pulled through a series of loops. Now I'm using a knitting needle to do this, but on a machine, it would be little sets of hooks pulling the one single thread from one loop to the next, and that makes stretch fabric. So you can see this fabric stretches. If these slices of paper were 100% cotton, this demonstrates what woven fabric looks like. So woven fabric is going to have threads and they are put over and under each other. And the resulting fabric from all of these warp and weft threads being woven over and under each other is fabric that doesn't stretch. So cotton is a fiber. Knitting or weaving are techniques to construct that fiber into a fabric. Both of those things greatly influence the final fabric. Let me give you some more examples here. This is cotton woven fabric. As you can see, it is pretty smooth. It holds a crease and the ends can fray as I start to pull the threads out of where they're woven. This, however, is cotton knit fabric. It is not as smooth, the threads, as the woven fabric. It stretches. And on the ends here, it's not going to unravel. These properties of these two different cotton construction techniques mean that I can't necessarily substitute one of these fabrics for the other. And that's why I can't answer if somebody just says, can I use cotton for this? Because are they talking about a knitted cotton fabric or a woven cotton fabric? More examples here, different fibers. As I said, both of those fabrics were made from cotton fibers. Okay, but other fibers are things like polyester, linen, wool, etc. And the fiber that a fabric is constructed from is going to affect several properties. Cotton, for example, is pretty cool. It is breathable and it holds moisture. Wool, on the other hand, is going to be fairly warm. It usually is wicking. It doesn't hold the moisture. It pulls it away from the body and it can sometimes be itchy. Cotton is a plant-based fiber. Wool is an animal-based fiber. Here's polyester. This is a completely man-made fiber. It's actually oil-based and then it is extruded into threads and then it is woven into this polyester satin fabric here that I'm holding. You can see this is a lot drape, has a lot more drape than the cotton fabric. So if I hold up the cotton fabric, it is stiffer. You can see how it tries to hold its shape more than the polyester fabric. That is due in part to the fiber because these are both woven fabrics. If I go back to the same fiber, these two cotton fabrics, because of the construction, are going to have different behaviors. 
the cotton woven fabric is stiffer and has less drape than the cotton knit fabric because of the construction. Same fiber, different construction, different fabric behavior. So hopefully that kind of clarifies those two properties of the fabric, the fiber and the construction. Now let's talk about can we substitute these fabrics in patterns? And the answer is still maybe to figure out whether you can substitute a knit fabric for a woven fabric in a pattern when you're making clothing or vice versa, substituting a um, woven fabric for a knit, you're going to need to know more about the pattern you're sewing. Specifically, you're going to need to know about the ease in the pattern. The word ease, when you're talking about sewing clothing, refers to how big or how much bigger or smaller the pattern is compared to the measurements of the body it's going to wear. So for example, this top that I'm wearing, it has positive ease. It is bigger than my body on the parts of my body that it is covering. That means that this is suitable for a woven fabric because I need that extra room to allow me to breathe because woven fabric doesn't really stretch. However, a knit garment like this one, for example, this can have negative ease. And if I hold it up, you can see how this is not quite as wide as the body parts it would be covering. But because it is knit fabric, it stretches and it's going to stretch to still cover those body parts. This pattern has negative ease. The one that I'm wearing has positive ease. Some patterns have no ease at all, that they might be exactly the same as the body measurements. So that's gonna depend on the style of the garment and the ease, whether you can do substitutions. So for example, this is my Abrazo shirt pattern. This is available in my shop, and this pattern has negative ease. You cannot substitute a woven fabric for the knit fabric that is called for for this pattern. You would not be able to get it on. This pattern has to stretch to cover the bust. It's a very fitted pattern, and so it needs that stretch or it doesn't work. You can't get your arms through the armhole. Um, the neckline is bigger than my head, but on a lot of t-shirts with a crew neck, you need that stretch or you can't even pull it over your head. On the other hand, this pattern is another one from my shop. This is the Shoreline Boat Neck. This pattern has slight amount of positive ease. Therefore, it is suitable, and I say this in the uh, material suggestions. This one is suitable for wovens or knits. You can sew it in a woven because I have drafted it so that the neckline is big enough to get over your head so that the armholes have enough room to pull on without needing to stretch. If you want to substitute a knit fabric and use knit instead, it's going to drape more than the one that I'm holding here, but it will still fit. So the answer to the question about can I substitute a fabric, it depends. If you are using a pattern that is made for woven fabrics and you want to substitute a knit, you generally always can. You will have a different fit though in the knit than you will in the woven. Let's imagine I'm wearing a rayon shelly top here and you can see it is a pretty drapey woven but it's still not gonna be draping in the same ways as a knit. If I constructed this top out of a knit, it would still fit me, but it might look quite a bit different. And in fact, it might look kind of big on me. So I might want to adjust the sizing to account for the stretch. If, on the other hand, you're looking at a pattern that was designed for knits, then the drafting was assuming a certain amount of stretch in the pattern. Let's think of something like a swimsuit. Swimsuits are generally, in this day and age, drafted for knits. They assume that they're gonna stretch to fit over your body. Because woven fabrics can't stretch, they're not going to fit the same. And it's not just as simple as sizing up. That might work on some patterns. But on a swimsuit, for example, you literally cannot stretch this into the shape of your bust. That is why woven fabrics or woven patterns generally have 
darts drafted in and that will allow close fitted shaping with a woven pattern that cannot stretch to provide the shaping. So I've got a post linked below that summarizes this information and there's a flow chart that you can see in it. it talks about the questions you need to ask yourself and the specific parts of the pattern you need to pay attention to to decide if you can substitute a woven fabric for a knit fabric, for example. If you are asking a question about substituting fibers, like you want to sew something that they recommended cotton spandex and you would like to sew it in a merino wool knit. Generally, the problem with that isn't going to be fitting because both fabrics are going to have stretch. You're going to need to check, do they both have the same amount of stretch because not all fibers and not all constructions stretch the same amount. And you're going to have to consider the thickness. If it was a pattern that was drafted for a thinner fabric and you substitute a thicker one, it will probably not fit. You might have to go up a size or you might have difficulty with certain aspects of the sewing. If you are substituting a thinner fabric for a thicker one, you may run into other fit issues. So the simple answer to all of this is, if you want the pattern to look the way that the sample looks, you should use similar fabric. If you are okay with experimenting and you understand the properties of different fibers and different construction techniques for fabric, then yeah, go ahead and start experimenting with substituting fabric. But understand that what your creation looks like in the end can't be predicted by the person who sewed it in a totally different fiber and or construction technique for their fabric. For more of your sewing questions answered, if you found this helpful, check out this playlist where I've answered quite a few things about sewing techniques.